The entire reservation related uh, demands from various communities intensifying in the state of Karnataka. This is the next story that we are making or uh, moving on to. This is the latest community to add to the growing chorus in the Vokaliga community. In fact, the community has demanded an increase in their reservation quota. They are currently getting quota under category 3A, but they want to come under the OBC umbrella. This comes after the state government's uh, decision to increase quota for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. And with this, the quota for scheduled castes would go up from 15% to 17%. And for the STs, it would go up from 3% to 7%. Ivan to percent in the Lake Kayaki, Am Islati, Samidana, the Idana Navo, Algarus Lik Sadiago, the other. Egalani, Nalku percent to Saka, other than about that Tartakanda, Nama Samadai Kukuda. New Ali Batu Mada the other, Nam Samadai Kukuda, you know the end to percent. End to press Mara, under percent of the other. Adana put in the Kanton, the Bauli and the Sukh Shmoy or Hedder, the Swami would Mutanaika and the Kuda Matna. That's why we my colleague Ritu now joins me on the broadcast. Ritu, this demand for further quota for the vocal liquor community is something that has been growing for some time now. It's back into the discourse. Just take us through more on what these demands are exactly. Uh, you see, there has been, in fact, a lot of demands coming in from the different communities across the Karnataka. So, it is first that started with the Lingayat community, which, you know, has almost like level percent of the population across Karnataka. So, they started demanding that they need a reservation for their community. And therein, you see, there was, of course, you know, these other communities as well. Then they had also demanded, like, Vokaliga community, Kuruba community as well, that they also need reservation. But they did not take up this whole issue this seriously that they have taken it up right now that you can see where they are also uh, saying that you know they will also call out for a protest in a huge manner uh, uh, if there is not a reservation that has not been given to their community now you see this is all coming just after you know the a state government had uh, decided to hike the reservation for the SCST community so they hope that they will also be able to get the reservation so the existing reservation for the Vokaliga community in Karnataka is uh, a, a 4 percent and therein they want it to be a 12 percent because they say they are almost of a 16 percent of the population in the state so they too deserve the reservation and yes the the state government should come up uh, uh, you know with this remedy for them uh, uh, you know at the earliest if not therein in the coming up election there will be a result that the state government will also get to see so that's the kind of a threat call that we can see uh, how uh, you know these communities are giving to the state government first a lingayat community and now the uh, uh, vokaliga community so we do know see uh, how many leaders you know from these communities are right now in the uh, different parties. In fact, uh, uh, you see the Lingayat community that we're talking about. So, uh, CM Baswaraj Bomai belongs from a Lingayat community. Uh, uh, Yatnal, in fact, Baswan Gowda Party, Yatnal as well, the BJP senior leader, also a farmer, uh, minister of the Karnataka, he too is from a Lingayat community. Yadirappa himself, the topmost leader of the BJP lead uh, from the BJP party is also from a Lingayat community. When we talk about Vokaliga as well, we do know how many, you know, there are so many leaders, in fact, in both BJP as well as uh, uh, Congress. Uh, there are so many Vokaliga leaders and uh, also in the JDS party as well. So DK Shukumar also is from a Vokaliga community. Therein, we also saw how uh, Rahul Gandhi, in fact, had uh, visited the Adi Chinchinagari met as well during Bharat Jodo Yatra, somewhere to vote these uh, uh, Vokaliga uh, votes in the upcoming assembly elections. So this is all that we will get to see how things will pan out in the upcoming uh, uh, elections uh, with these uh, okay. communities demanding the reservation from the state government. All right, Ritu, thank you so much for joining us with all the latest that's coming in from the state of Karnataka and the demand for reservation, further reservation for the Vokalega community. Uh, let's move.